This is Skip with the WSGF, and we're gonna take a look at the multi-monitor support for the just released into beta Torchlight 2. Uh, you can see here on the loading screen, the intro screen, that it is fully horizontal plus. Um, the game supports uh, three by 1080p. It also supports bezel compensated or bezel corrected resolutions. Uh, I'm gonna go into create a new game here. Uh, we can see the uh, the character creation screen here, you'll notice that the text at the top, the name engineer, is not stretched. Uh, this type of title text in the original Torchlight uh, was stretched across the game, but that has since been corrected. The character selection for the class is um, here on the far left of the screen. Again, the, the inventory and interface items are hugging the left and right sides of the screen like they were before. Uh, your play style just kind of depends on whether that is good or bad. Um, so we're going to come in here and uh, pick a character name. I got a pet name of Clyde. And we're going to go on the internet here. Uh, I got to type in my little password. Because the only thing available in the beta is the online play. The single player game is not available. Um, they are just putting in here the multiplayer, the co-op, which is obviously the big new feature in the game, uh, what everybody was basically clamoring for. Uh, so I'm going to go in and create a game so that I can just tool around here by myself. Um, I played a little bit last night through the first level. Uh, so here we're testing iFinity and surround support. Here we see the loading screens actually are wider than a single monitor now. Um, one of our first indications that uh, the game was really designed to take into account or look at multi-monitor support. Unfortunately, after that, one of the first things we see here is this cutscene. Um, it is vert minus. Uh, you can see how, how the title spans basically the three monitors. Uh, it is full motion video rendered anamorphically for a 16 by 9. This video was recently released on the net as sort of a teaser, so we know by looking at this and comparing to what was out there that this is indeed vert minus. Uh, hopefully, the fine folks at Runic can come in and pillar box this, and we can get it just seated on the middle monitor. Um, it's a great animation and some great artwork, so you know, hopefully, multi monitor users won't have to do without. Here we are in the. Uh, in the gameplay area, one thing you'll notice is the health and mana are on the far left and right side of the screen. Uh, this is completely different than what was done in Torchlight 1. Uh, previously it was a uh, circle in the middle. The left half was health, the right half was mana. Um, so this is obviously a detriment to gameplay. Now, while I'm not letting Runic off on this, I mean we need to have these on the center monitor, I will say that more than once in the original game, even though I had a full complement of health potions, um, just because I was so focused in what was going on on the screen, I missed that my health was running out and I, I died in the game when I had more than enough potions to um, handle things. Uh, you can see here it says use best health potion. So you've got a, a Z and an, and an X key there. Um, you know, it would be nice if there was some sort of auto, um, auto health here. Um, you can see that, you, you know, I'm running my mana out and it's just telling me it's low. So you have to manually come in with the key. Um, we really need to get these in the center monitor. Although the, the action is often so fast and so furious that you may not notice it anyway. So you'll see the tooltip showing up here on the right. Um, and that's gone away. I'll go in here and look at the first quest. I think this is uh, it zooms I in. Uh, you should carry on to the full voice over place. here. Uh, you can see own. that I've got a little title Lower for the person the even when I mouse over him. Um, one thing way. I like about the new questing you system is already. it tells you the rewards you're going to get. The amount of gold, the amount of experience. And then it shows you here um, what the options are for your reward. And it gives you this side-by-side -side comparison on... Uh, what you're currently equipped with, what you could potentially get. So we'll accept that. Again, the quest accepted, not stretched. Um, we can look here at, at the other items. There's inventory on the right. Again, it shifts the perspective off center a touch. If I add the pet, um, 
it opens up on the on the left side there. Previously in the game when you did this, it paused the game and did the zoom in with the spinning around of your character. Here you can leave both items open uh, full time and play. You can see what your pet's got going on, um, change spells, change equipment in your character uh, fully without obstructing your center monitor. Again, the health and mana are still out on the sides. You can see that it does shift in the quest log and, and the mini map there so that those are not obstructed. So it's nice to see this intentional support of, of multi-monitor. And even better to show you here, with the mini map on the uh, right hand side, the auto map, it's the same kind of thing. You can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, the star here is showing the end of my quest point. You can see my dog Clyde walking around and there's me and there's my quest giver, the destroyer. Now, just like the previous game, if I hit A, well, actually, I'm sorry, on this, it's M, it puts the map in the middle, again, obstructing um, all of the action and really just being in the way and, in my opinion, unusable. Um, if I hit M again, it puts it out here on the left um, on my side monitor, which is great. and You can actually see how far up here the star is. Now, I tend to look to my right, so I'm going to put it here on the right side. And here's, um, I guess I would say, another part of the, of the pro tip. You can see the size of the map here. If I hit M, it goes away. If I bring it back and zoom all the way out and make it small, you can see that it retains that size here. Um, and you can actually do the zooming in and out while you have the map open with the left and right bracket keys. So if I start walking around here, you can see how the, the auto map just completely opens up. Um, and I, at a glance, I can see exactly where I need to go, uh, what hasn't been um, uncovered, and where I need to head for the, the end of my quest. And so, I mean, I really have to give kudos to Runic here for everything that they've done to increase the multi-monitor support. Uh, the one, I guess, major failing is the mana and health bubbles that are on the the far sides you know we really need to get those in on the center monitor because uh, that could significantly impact gameplay uh, that or maybe add a feature that automatically drinks a potion when you're about to die uh, if you've got plenty in stock but otherwise we've got um, you know we've got it set where we can fill a whole monitor with a mini map or the the auto map I guess as they call it without obstructing anything else uh, we also have the the character panels the the inventory and and the pet stuff that you can keep open while you're um, adventuring again with the with the merchants and the enchanters it's a little difficult to have um, everything on you know for you on one side and the vendor enchanter on the other and that can make it kind of difficult to move things back and forth but you know just like we had in the previous game uh, you can shift click to move things left and right back and forth um, I'll go ahead and show what the uh, The character stuff looks like uh, again You've got the little buttons on the side that you get the plus when you need to increase your skills like last time So I'll click skills here um, I can upgrade my my flame hammer my large weapon expertise I'm actually going to go in here and construct a, a healing bot. That's a, a pretty cool feature of the engineer Again, I could leave that open and look at what was going on. There's my character. Um, here's my quests. On the left side here, um, I've got my character panel. Uh, great descriptions of what strength and dexterity and focus and vitality do. And if I go in here and add some dexterity, you can see in real time the stats increasing, the percentages there. Um, I've got my experience, my fame, my hit points, my mana points, and then uh, arcane statistics all the stuff that was buried in multiple menus and stuff previously is now here in one big scroll and it you know it's a lot of cool data to look at for the uh, obsessive compulsive amongst us so again i'm really excited about about torchlight uh it's really my kind of game i really like the first one um and i'm excited about the multi-monitor support here and if we can just get those bubbles fixed we're looking at a sort of a certified title here from Runic. So enjoy, and uh, hopefully you can get in on the beta too. If not, it, this is certainly gonna be well worth the wait, and here's to more click, click, click.